Hey, what's going on YouTube today? I have an awesome video for you guys. I have the matte black Google Pixel Fold dbrand skin. Also going to be throwing a logo on there as well. Now, I do have the dbrand uh, screen protectors. Comes in this awesome little box. Uh, but one thing I didn't know before I got these was there's like a full coverage one and a case friendly one. So one that basically covers the entirety of the front screen and one that just covers like the like where there's pixels, if that makes sense. So a case could fit over it. I'm not sure which one I want to go for just yet because my Fold 3 uh, during like the last six months of its life, I literally just had a D brand skin and a screen protector on it, which I might do for this, but I have a couple cases coming in. So I think I might put the case friendly on first. And then if I decide to rock it naked with just the D brand skin, I'll switch over to the full coverage. So if you want to see a video of the D brand screen protector or uh, some of the new cases I got coming in, uh, drop a sub. Which brings me to my last point before I start this video. Only 50 subs away from a thousand. Really appreciate you guys. I'd also really appreciate it if you dropped a sub to get us to that milestone. That's enough of me jibbing my jabber. Let's get right into this. So one thing uh, that's kind of unfortunate is I have uh, the OEM Google case on here. I don't know how well this case is going to fit with the skin. Also, you have the adhesive. I'm very curious to know how reusable that's going to be. Let's see if you could... I could already feel the resistance. Yeah, that was stuck on there pretty well. I think just for the sake of this installation, I'm going to leave that front cover on. Uh, so when I leave the screen face down, it's not going to kind of scratch the screen at all because I do not have a screen protector on there right now. D brand little cloth there. Let me give her a wiperoo. Gotta make sure there's no dust or debris anywhere. Let's get a close up of that. So I don't know if you could see that on camera but like all around like the camera bump there's a like little dust bunnies that are trying to hide around make sure you get those all right <clears throat> that looks pretty much good to me now this also did come with like the camera cut out but i don't know if i'm gonna put that on i think i might just because it's like uh almost like a screen protector for your camera glass so you know what let's just Let's just give that a go. Alright, elite precision here. Not bad. I think that looks pretty clean. So that one is like the only one that you really kind of have to freehand. All right, so next I'm going to get this, peel it off of the 3M thingamajig here, and kind of just give myself enough playroom to fit this around the camera visor. Intense concentration. Just want to make sure it's all in the right place. Alright, so before I take this off and finish the rest, I'm just going to make sure everything is lined up. 
pretty happy with how that looks, so I'm just going to bring it around town, make sure everything is nice and stuck to the phone. Okay, next. Simple as simple as that. I'm going to first kind of put my finger down around the camera bump just because that's like the easiest outline to make sure everything else falls into place. Gonna make sure all that goes nice and flat. All right, next, I uh, gotta get these corners. <clears throat> now I know another way to go about doing this is bringing a, like a blow dryer, like a hot air dryer to the skin. Never really felt too comfortable with that because you know there's a battery in here and the last thing you'd want is a spicy pillow in your brand new phone. Yeah, even without, because I do, plan on putting a logo on there just because I like the color pop but with that it as you can see we're lined up with that uh, logo pretty perfectly and even just like that it looks extremely clean in my opinion so I will say after you've applied it like if you're just sitting around the first couple days you have it I'll just keep like running my fingers across the side because over time, as it like sits on here and like gets warm in your car or whatever, uh, that screen, or sorry, that uh, skin is going to get much more like uh, adhered to your phone. All right, pretty happy with that. Let's do the final touch here, the Google logo. I'm going with the colored logo because I think it looks pretty sick. So how they recommend you do this on dbrand is to peel off the sticker, put it on the corner, and then just kind of use that to line it up and push it down. And they also say uh, to go from right to left. You may not be able to tell, but this is big, medium, small, depending on how your skin kind of stuck to your phone uh, you may have to use a different size logo so let's uh, give this a go that's why I am glad I left the front screen on or the front case rather First go came off a little funky. So these little logos are pretty delicate. That didn't work out too well. I'm going in, I'm going in raw. It took a lot of very jittery hands and I thought I messed this logo up but I got it on the first shot. Let's go. How do you guys think that looks? Let me take off this 
part of the case. All right, so this is how your phone will look with the matte black dbrand skin. That looks absolutely sick nasty. Especially with that little Google logo for that tinge of color. That thing looks pretty sick. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, please leave a sub, like, and comment. Really appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, I don't know which screen protector I want to put on. I think I'm going to throw the case friendly one on uh, just so I could try out some cases. And out of curiosity, uh, I know a lot of cases do have adhesive and stuff. Let's just see if this fits on here. I would worry about the adhesive kind of like sticking on to the skin after a while. But for the sake of science, if you want to use a dbrand skin and a case, it looks like there's no issues here. It's perfectly fine. Taking it off and bam, gorgeous. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for stopping by and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.